Hey, what's up? I'm William Bagley, writer-director of the Murder Podcast. Which is currently streaming on Amazon and Tubi. So today I wanted to walk you through my director's notebook, which is actually this little black thing right here. So what is a director's notebook? Every director's notebook is different. This is mine. This is how I used it. And I thought this might be interesting to some of you. It also might not. So we'll just find out and see. Inside of here, I have the script and I have my daily breakdowns and I have my shot list. Really, honestly, I spent most of my time just carrying this around and this just stayed somewhere secure on set in case I need to reference it. This guy had my shot list on there and I would just be able to check off shots as we went along. Um, but let's go ahead and jump in and I'll show you what's in here. Okay, so first things first, you open it up. This is actually left exactly, oh, hello wind. Let's just try it, let's just try that one more time. So, first things first, you open it up and the wrong page flips over. One more time. You open it up, first things first, we got, we got this really silly, these are the 2020 goals, which is actually one of the props in the movie. We actually had to replace the 2020 by the time the movie came out with VFX uh, because the movie came out in 2022 and 2020 suck butt. Nobody wanted to be reminded of that. In here, I have my all my daily elements for each shot. So the shoot was 14 days and each day essentially just has a nice little breakdown. Super simple, really quick, easy to look at. We did use Studio Binder. I'm not sponsored. Um, but essentially the sort of stuff that would be on here is like the cast members. So day one of 14 says the day that it is the cast members who all's in it. So we got three characters, Chad, Eddie, and Steven. I got all the props that I'm going to need, you know, all the big props sort of things. And then stunts, for example, I have Chad tosses the rest of his ramen on Eddie. That's not a stunt, but it is something that I knew was going to take, uh, some extra time to do. So I put it down under stunts, but you know, I could look at this as just quick over overview of boom. This is exactly what we're doing today. It's exactly what I need and just make sure we have all this stuff. As you can see, when I started out, I was checking everything off. As we went along, I stopped doing that. I also listed the scenes that we're gonna be playing that day. So on the first day, we did scene five, six, seven, 17, and 19. And I have one of these for each day. So day one, two, three, all the way up to 14, you know, and I, every now and then I would have forgotten something, so I'd write something down. Um, and this was super helpful. I liked this a lot. This was actually probably one of the best and most useful things in the whole book, because I would just be like, oh, it's day 10, I just got to set. Okay, let's just make sure we have the coin, a bag of weed. There you are. Of course I would stop there. Let's just make sure we have the coin, a bag of weed, the microwave, a bowl, you know. We could just quickly go through and make sure we had all that stuff. And I guess we could quickly go through and make sure that the cast was there, but hopefully that's not something you're forgetting. But you never know, it gets pretty crazy on set. Yeah. All right, ready? Roll sound. Speed, team 54 delta, take one marker. And action. All right, and then I had the actual script. So this is what most of this is. This is the script. Um, and on here, I had a little note just for me, um, which is, remember why you started to make a fun movie, not too serious, just fun. Um, and that was because I knew exactly what kind of movie we were setting out to make. Um, I also knew that we weren't gonna have the money to do all the cool stuff that I wanted to do. Um, so at the end of the day, it was just to try to have fun with it and you know, accept what it is and just try to have the best time you can. Um, and then also I have this right here, feel it, which I actually think is some of the best directing advice I've ever gotten. Essentially that means when you're doing a take, just pretend you're the audience and just sit there and try to feel it. If it doesn't feel like a movie, if it doesn't feel right, then do it again. But you want to be able to feel the emotion. You want to be able to feel the themes coming through the screen. The actual script itself is just your standard breakdown. I mean, like, for example, you have one jib down through this stuff, one A wide shot, one B close up. Um, and then I would take this and turn it into my shot list. And I would actually do this every night before we shot. I recommend not doing that. I recommend doing it a couple of weeks before you shoot. But because we were kind of waiting to make sure we could lock down locations, it was hard to do a shot list because you never really know what's going to happen. Um, but in the future, I think I'll lock down my location sooner so I can get this done sooner so that I'm not sitting there after a 10 hour day trying to be creative and come up with cool shots. You know, these little tabs over here was something I started out using, I ended up not using. Um, it was basically, so how I have the scenes listed here, I would then put these in order. So you'd have like one, two, three, four, five, and that would just help me to quickly be like, okay, our first scene that we're shooting is this. And I could quickly flip to it and it'd be like, oh, scene 30, great. It ended up not being that useful. I also only had five of them, so I couldn't even do all the scenes because sometimes we'd have like seven or eight scenes in a day. So yeah, you know. But, you know, trying something cool, if that works for you, you should give it a shot. Every now and then I would have a storyboard in here when I did one. Um, and you can see, like, so I will actually play this storyboard versus the video. Hey! It's pretty dead on and I'm pretty happy with it. 
But the main beef and the main cool stuff in this binder is what's all in here. It's this massive stack of paper. So we're just going to go ahead and pull this out. Also, I didn't mention, but this notebook is left exactly how it was the day we wrapped. Um, so these shot lists are in order. This was day 14 of 14, and the one on the very bottom is day one. So it's kind of like a little time capsule. But we'll check this out. So if you can't tell, the movie got a little more stressful by the time we hit 14. So these... On day 14, we're on just like basic notebook paper. And on day one, we were on very nice, like printed out, beautiful looking shot list. Let's go ahead and let's, let's just pop over here. These are the papers that I would have on my clipboard. So the notebook would be sitting somewhere else in case I needed to reference it. But these guys would be with me along with a little list of sides. Um, and basically you can see like, for example, Murder Podcast, day one, scene five, jib down as Chad dances in front of a microphone. Chad looks up, Oak and Ron views. So I've just got my shots right here and I've got the type of shot and then i would literally just cross them off as we went along because we're an indie because of how fast we're moving this was a godsend um so i got all my scenes through here of day one and then i also would have a copy of the call sheet and this the strip board not really that useful when you're actually shooting but very useful when you're setting up your your uh, original whatever holy cow the sun just came out it's super bright now and yeah so each day was really different i mean so for example let's look let me try to find day day six okay so they really say to do whatever works for you um for some of my certain scenes the shot list wasn't cutting it like it just wasn't the right sort of thing to do um and instead a really easy quick little storyboard like this would work so i mean you can see these little drawings it's looks like a cigarette going out a face there's something in the pool oh my gosh blah 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 and i would do the same thing as the shot list and just quickly check these off and for any of our big action scenes this is actually the method that I ended up using, and it was way easier to follow than doing a traditional shot list. This was a whole crazy, um, that's probably like a six minute long action sequence. And it was just so helpful. And then of course, drawing little faces when I got bored <laughs> during setups. But yeah, this, this is pretty much it. Mainly the most important thing, my biggest advice, holy cow, the sun's coming out like crazy. My main advice for anyone about to embark out on a feature film is to make a shot list. That shot list will save your life. Um, and also, if you can, do, do your breakdowns before the night of, because that just made me so tired and exhausted. Also, these little prop lists, incredible, super good. But yeah, that, that's my director's notebook. I hope you found this interesting. I highly recommend if you like horror comedies, go check out our movie. It's called The Murder Podcast. It's available on Amazon and Tubi. If you want more of this kind of thing, let me know, because I've got a lot of stuff to share about this movie. It's a good time. All right, guys, peace. Cutting.